good morning children this is our grammar class hope you all are fine and today kids we are going to start a new lesson that is direct and indirect objects so to know direct and indirect object you should know what is object right so if you remember we did this topic or we discussed about this in our last chapter we discussed that for a complete sentence we need a subject verb and an object so what is this object yes object is something or somebody that receives an action okay it is something or somebody that receives an action that means a subject that does an action and that action is received by an object now this object is divided into two that is direct and indirect object so let's learn this direct and indirect object in detail So now let's discuss the first one that is a direct object. So what do you mean by direct object? The word itself gives us some idea, okay? Direct. Directly it's related. So let's see. Direct object means it is the person or thing that receives or that directly receives an action, okay? A person or thing, okay? It can be a noun or pronoun that directly receives an action okay we discussed that object means personal thing that receives an action and in direct case in this direct object it is the personal thing that directly receives an action now look at these examples sona loves chinese food second one mohan plays guitar third one sam loves his classmates okay now we can understand this using these examples another thing that you want to know is that so i said before you should know how to identify subject and more important one you should know how to identify verb in the sentence okay because then only this is going to be easy for you so when you identify verb in that sentence you have to ask the question what or whom okay what or whom to the verb okay so that's why it's said you should know verb let's see how this works with this okay so to identify this you should know the subject you should know the verb and then you are going to identify the direct object okay so let's start Sona loves Chinese food. So, which is the subject over here? What is our subject? Subject means about whom we are talking. Okay. So, this sentence talks about whom? Sona. Right? So, Sona, she becomes our subject. So, this is our subject. Then, which is our verb? Loves. Right? This is our verb. So, we found verb in this sentence. Now, since we found the verb in this sentence, we are going to ask the question. Okay? Sona loves what? Loves what? We get an answer in this sentence, right? Sona loves what? Yes, she loves Chinese food. Okay? So, Chinese food, this becomes our what? Object. So, so this is our object and this is our direct object. Okay? Since this action is directly, E action, Arana receives the another. Who is receiving it? Chinese food. Okay? She, Sona loves what? Chinese food. So this is directly linked. So what is that? It is direct object. Let's see the other example. Mohan plays guitar. About whom we are talking? Which is our subject? Yes, our subject is Mohan. And 
And what is the action? Which is the action verb over there? Our verb is plays. Okay? Now ask the question. Plays what? Yes. Plays guitar. So, guitar, it becomes our direct object. Right? The next one. That is, Sam loves his classmates. This is our subject over here. Sam. This is our subject, right? Tell me which is our verb in this sentence. Yes, loves. Sam loves classmates, right? This person, right? Sam loves, then we are going to ask the question, whom? Sam loves whom? What? We get the answer over here. Yes, Sam loves his classmates, right? So, his classmates. So, classmates, it becomes our direct object. Got it? So, I think you guys understood what is direct object and how can we find direct object. Okay? So, now let's discuss what is indirect object. So, what do you mean by indirect object? We said that in a sentence, the verb or the action word is received by a person or thing directly. Then it is called direct object. Then what do you mean by indirect object? Means, yes, the person who receives the direct object indirectly is called indirect object. Okay? The, so, it becomes a person. Who is receiving the direct object. Okay? Direct object ne receive jayna dana. Indirect object. See here. It answers. That means. How, how can we find indirect object? It answers to the question. To whom or for whom. Okay? So, we have to find out the verb. And ask the question. To whom? Or for whom. So again, you need to know verb in that sentence. Okay? So now let's see. To add, so, to know indirect object, these are the things that you should know. One, you should know how to identify the subject. Second, should know how to identify verb. And you should also know how to identify direct object, right? So now, let's understand indirect object with some examples. The first one. Our teacher told us an interesting story. So, remember I said that you should know subject, verb and we are going to identify direct object. So, which is our subject over here? What is our subject? Yes. We are talking about our teacher, right? That's the subject in this sentence. So, we got the subject. Next one. Verb. Our teacher told. So, which is the action word over here? Told, right? So, that becomes our verb, right? Now, we have to find out Direct object. So, how to find out direct object? Yes, we have to ask the question, what or whom? So, let's ask the question here. Our teacher told what? And then our teacher found out. What did she say? Our, to our teacher told, what do you get the answer? Yes, an interesting story. Ile. This is that, this is the one, this is an interesting story, okay, story. That becomes our direct object. Told us what? An interesting story, right? So, this story, this becomes our direct object. This verb is directly related to this direct object, okay? The action is directly related over here, so it becomes direct object. Ok? 
Okay. Now, we want to find out indirect object. How can that be? How can we find that? I said that we have to ask the question to whom or for whom. Okay. So, again to the verb. Okay. Told whom. Our teacher told whom. Adaide. Told what? An interesting story. To whom? Aroda Pagna. About interesting story. It is received by whom? This is received by whom? A story. Verb action. Received is the direct object. And the direct object is received by whom? Yes. And that direct object is received by whom? Us. Right? So this becomes our indirect, okay, indirect object. So our teacher told an interesting story, right? Our teacher told whom an interesting story? To us, we got an answer. So it becomes indirect object. Let's try another example. He offered me some coffee. He offered me some coffee. Ah, I love coffee. He offered me coffee. So let's see here. He offered me some coffee. He, right? So this becomes our subject. What is his action? He offered. So this is our verb. Okay? Now we have to find direct object. Ask the question. What or whom? Offer what? He offered what? Yes, we got the answer. He offered coffee, right? So this becomes our direct object because it answered the question what? Next. Okay. What is the question? Offer me so it upon what we got the answer? Coffee. Now we want to find out indirect object. What's our question? Yes. For whom? I like it to whom. Okay. For whom? I like it to whom. So it will be answered with the word. That becomes our indirect object. He offered. So offered no other number to it. Okay. Other number verb no other to it. So offer whom? I'm going to go for the other. Me. So me becomes indirect object. Okay. So here we have to ask what I like it whom. Okay. And here we have to ask the question to whom or for whom. And we get answer that becomes indirect object. Next one. Third one. You can try. Naveen gave me some gold coins. Naveen gave me some gold coins. So, which is that? Try. Which is our subject? Yes. We are talking about Naveen, right? So that becomes our subject. Then which is our verb? Action word. Here an action word it is. Is it me? Some gold coin? Action chain of our Yes, it is game. So this becomes our verb. Then we have to find what? Yes, direct object. What we are going to ask? Yes, we are going to ask what or whom? Aroda to ikende. To verb. Gave what? Endara kodi chadu. You get endara answer it another. Gave some gold coins. Okay? So gold coins becomes our direct object. Okay? Now we want to find out indirect object. What are we are going to what we are going to ask? Yes. To whom or for whom? Naveen gave. To whom? Naveen gave gold coins to whom? To me. Any kind of another, right? Then that becomes indirect object. The direct object are other received another. This one, me. Okay? So, that becomes indirect object. Right? Next one. She gave her sister a present. Okay? She. She. So, this becomes our subject. Right? Gave is our verb. She gave her sister a present. 
which is our direct object. She gave what? In that sister Lord to them. Yes, she gave a present. So this becomes our direct object. Gave whom? Arthur go to them. Present Arthur go to them. Whom did she give? Present. She gave to her sister, right? To her sister. Okay? So that becomes indirect object because this is receiving this direct object. Who is receiving the direct object? Her sister. So that becomes indirect object. Okay? So with this lesson, now we understood what is object. An object is divided into direct and indirect. Right? You also learned that you should know how to find subject, how to find verb. Later we learned how to identify direct object in a sentence by asking the question what or whom to the verb. Then we discussed about indirect object and we also learned how to identify an indirect object in a sentence. Okay? So, to identify that, what we what should we do? Yes, we have to ask the question, to whom or for whom? To the verb. So, kids, that's all from this chapter. Hope this lesson is very clear to you. Please revise this lesson, go through it, or watch this video two, three times until you understand. Okay? So, until our next class, have a nice day. Thank you.